Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and I'm the new host of a new segment on the Old School Labs YouTube channel called Old School History, covering the history of bodybuilding. I'm a scientist by trade and an avid collector of bodybuilding literature, and of course a massive fan and student of old school bodybuilding. So OSL and I have teamed up to bring you content that takes a look at the incredible people who are really the founding fathers of the Iron Game that we know and love and cover the unique stories, principles, and findings that these pioneers have left behind for us to enjoy and to learn from. Make sure you're subscribed if that's something that sounds interesting to you, since episodes of this new series will be uploaded really often onto this YouTube channel. Now, onto today's episode. We're looking at the iconic Silver Era bodybuilder and legendary Steve Reeves, and his bodybuilding routine for developing Herculean forearms. In a previous video linked above, I covered Steve's recollection of the great strongmen of the past and their feats of grip strength, in which Steve Reeves was trying to actually emphasize the importance of developing a strong grip and powerful forearms. Indeed, developing a strong grip and forearms will help in progressive resistance training. And as Reeves said, if you can't hold it, you can't lift it. And now for Reeves's bodybuilding routine for forearms. Enjoy. Reeves's forearm specialization routine involves five different exercises, including the reverse curl, the seated dumbbell single arm wrist curl, dumbbell wrist rotations, the Reeves standing barbell wrist press, uh, all performed for four sets of 12 repetitions and finishing off with the Reeves wrist roll at the end. Using such a routine, Reeves was able to develop incredible forearm and grip strength, and he was able to pinch grip, as an example, 400 pounds without a warm up in the Reeves deadlift. Now that's a strong grip and powerful forearms. Now I'm briefly going to explain each exercise for you in the program. To perform the reverse curl, which is the first exercise listed, hold a barbell at the front thighs as shown in the image here of Reeves, approximately about shoulder width, and keeping your upper arms from moving, you wanna curl the bar up towards your shoulders and then lower slowly. As you do lower, Reeves, um, he actually recommends that you should hold the barbell when the forearms are parallel to the floor. This is actually a tip that was also recently recommended by the um, late Charles Poliquin, that you should try and hold it for about a second, second and a half at the position where it's parallel to the floor to really activate the uh, forearm muscles. And then, of course, lower completely and repeat. You want to perform this exercise for four sets with a weight that you can handle for eight to 12 repetitions. For the seated single arm dumbbell wrist curl, you want to sit on a bench and grab a dumbbell as shown here in this awesome photo. Uh, you want to lay the forearm on the thigh with the palm facing up and the back of the hand uh, basically against the knee as it is bent in the low position, the starting position of the actual wrist curl. As you curl the wrist, um, you wanna hold on to that contraction and really feel it and then lower and repeat. You wanna perform this exercise four sets with a weight that you can handle for eight to 12 repetitions before moving up in weight. Next is the dumbbell wrist rotation. Now the dumbbell wrist rotation was an actual very favorite exercise of Steve Reeves. You can see him standing with a uh, you know, very erect position here, holding those dumbbells at the sides and slightly out to the side so that it allows your wrist to actually perform those rotations without hitting your hips or your thighs. As you can see, Reeves is actually holding very light dumbbells in each hand and he recommends rotating clockwise for about 25 repetitions and then repeating the exercise in the opposite direction that is rotating now anti-clockwise for 25 reps and you want to do rotations so 25 on each side for four sets each now the reeves standing barbell wrist press is an unusual exercise um, Reeves recommends you starting off with a, a light barbell, although you can see him here, he's actually cleaned up to his shoulders about 135 pounds. Uh, maybe to him that was a light barbell. Um, but anyway, he recommends starting off this exercise with a light barbell, you clean it or reverse curl it up to the shoulders, right? 
And as you can see in the photo very clearly, uh, Reeves, uh, Reeves has the wrists bent all the way back in the starting position. You can see that his upper arms are held tight against his uh, the sides of his body. And you can see also that his elbows are pointing down as if he's about to press the weight overhead. Instead of pressing the weight overhead, what he actually does is using the power of his wrists uh, alone, he presses and curls at the wrist only until the palms literally of the hand are facing forward. So he, he's basically doing a wrist curl action only. And it's a kind of a press with the wrist, if you can imagine his pressing and curling at the same time. And of course, you want to repeat the exercise uh, for 12 reps and perform it for four sets using um, a weight that you can handle for 12 repetitions. Finally, the Reeves wrist roll is much harder than the average wrist roll exercise in that you're going to actually be standing up on a bench and the weight will be attached to a much longer cord and therefore the length of each set is going to be much, much longer and that much harder. You attach a weight to a cord as shown in the photo here. I couldn't find a photo of Reeves doing a wrist roll, so I just used one of John Grimmick, right? Um, and the cord needs to be, as I said, much longer, 1.2 meters to two meters in length. This means you do have to stand on a bench so that the weight can actually go, uh, start off on the floor and go all the way up, right? So as I said, it's going to be much, much harder. You want to grab the, the roller with your knuckles facing up and wind up the weight with wrist action alone and then unwind. Now, there are two directions you can perform this. You can perform it to hit your forearm extensors. That is the knuckles curling towards you. And then you can, once you unwind it, you can perform the exercise in the opposite direction. That is knuckles curling away from you, which is going to work the forearm flexes. So you want to repeat four sets in each direction and then you're done. So I hope you have enjoyed this video on Steve Reeves' bodybuilding routine for developing Herculean arms and that you will enjoy this new segment on Old School History on the Old School Labs YouTube channel. If you did like the video and learned something, please like, share and subscribe. And please do check out Old School Labs' YouTube channel for more Old School content. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm and saying, remember to keep it old school.